Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a bidding problem. Our left-hand opponent passed. It is our turn to bid. What would you bid? I would pass. That was kind of a softball, but I would go ahead and pass. Obviously, we don't have an opening hand, and we are the second seat, so there's no reason to do that. It goes pass, 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 now to partner. Bidding in fourth seat is very different than bidding in in third seat, and it's even different than bidding in first and second seat. But partner's going to make a very normal bid of one spade, and now it's going to go past to us, and here is our moment. What are we going to bid? Drury! <laughs> We're going to bid Drury. So let's take a moment and I talk about Drury, and, and one of the big things about Drury, whenever I teach Drury, I love Drury. I think Drury's a great convention. Um, I always tell people it's one of the most forgotten conventions because people tend to forget it all the time. Even people who've played it for years have a tendency to forget it. And I think part of the reason for that is is that, you know, the context is it's a little bit rare. You have to have been a past hand and partner has to have opened a major. So, I mean, for starters, that just doesn't come up very much. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's easy to forget it. But, as you know, like we remember stamen or we remember transfers or any other convention, when the context appears, we want to be on the lookout for it. So when it, we have passed and it goes past and partner opens a major, that's when we need to go, this is the moment where I could bid Drury. And then we look at our hand and we go, oh, oh, I can bid Drury. So we're going to do that. Uh, we play a reverse two-way Drury. And so what that means is, is that with three card support and 10 to 12 points, we bid clubs. And with four card support or more and 10 to 12 points, we bid diamonds. So we are on this hand going to go ahead and bid two clubs. You want to alert. And you could type in Drury depending on who you're playing with. Or you could type in three card support, 10 to 12 high card points. So whenever you make an alert uh, or explain a bid, you want to cover both facets of the strength of the hand and the shape of the hand. What is the bid showing? Specifically, the bid should be showing something about shape and something about strength, and that's what you want to let your opponents know. So on bridge base, we hit the alert button, we type in our explanation, and then we make our bid. And so now the auction's going to come on, and partner is going to bid two spades, pass to us, and here we go. What are we going to bid? We're going to pass. We've described our hand. We said, hey, partner, we have 10 to 12 points and three spades. And partner said, that's great. Let's play two spades. So if partner wanted to move on from here, partner has a lot of options. They can make a game try with another suit. Um, they can just bid four. They can bid three, inviting us. They have a lot of options. When they just bid two, what they're saying is, hey, I'm not interested in game and the auction is over. I'm going to show you this hand because I think this is such a fabulous Drury hand. So the lead was the Queen of Diamonds. That's going to take our auction away. Now we can look at the hand. You see here that partner is going to lose no matter what they do. They're going to lose four spade tricks. They're going to lose no club tricks, no heart tricks, but they are going to lose a diamond. So partner is going to lose five tricks on this hand. And this of course assumes that they get the heart suit correct. If they don't get the heart suit correct, they may actually lose six tricks. So on this hand, they are losing five tricks. If we forget about Drury and we bid three spades, partner opens one spade, we bid three spades showing 10 to 12 points, right? Two spades is six to nine. Three spades is 10 to 12. Why wouldn't we do that? We wouldn't do it because we play Drury. On this hand, if you forget about Drury and you bid three, not only are you misrepresenting your hand, because three spades now shows something different, but also we're too high. Partner can make two spades. And that's what makes this hand such a great Drury hand, is if we bid Drury, we end up in a making contract. If we bid three spades because we forgot Drury, we end up going down one. So Drury is a great, great convention. This is a great hand for it. And this is a hand that came up in real life. I d didn't touch this hand at all. This is exactly how it hit the table. And it just is a beautiful representation of a really good convention. When you play Drury, in order to remember it, you just want to be triggered by the context. I passed partner open to major, boom, I need to be thinking about Drury. Just every time that happens, every time you pass a partner opens a major, ooh, this is my moment to bid Drury. 
and then look at your hand and if it's appropriate bid Drury and if it's not appropriate obviously don't bid Drury but that that is your moment to do that so watch out for that context and it'll help you because that is the biggest downside to Drury is people tend to forget about it but it is a really great convention thank you